Good morning everyone, it is day 34 of the Australian Brumby Challenge. Today we're going to start long raining. This is magic, we've spent the morning doing some groundwork, and now it's Cooper's turn. Yesterday I had to spend some time with Richard, the Zen master, because Sometimes I set expectations a little bit high and I was a little bit disappointed that Cooper hadn't met my expectations. And, and it can be really hard to stay in a neutral Zen place all the time, especially when you're training so many horses a day, but it's really not an excuse. It starts with me and I need to be neutral. I need to not get angry, not get sad, not get disappointed. It's about continuously looking for 1% improvements from Cooper to get the best from him. Wow! My God! You should be on... So, these are what I call long reins. It's basically just... Don't do that. A really long rope. Um, I have these nifty little clips on them and they are stitched through they're not too thick, not too heavy, and they're not too long, otherwise you get tangled in them. Uh, so these are my favorite long reins. And they match my headband. Not your headband. You're gonna get a new headband soon, don't worry. I'll get you one soon. It's coming, I've ordered it. It's gonna be pretty instead of ugly and red. So today Cooper's going to learn about long reining. This is my favourite exercise to introduce the long reins, but it's also an awesome exercise to teach a horse to be confident when tied up. I want to be able to walk in near Cooper, and if he makes the mistake of pulling backwards, that's okay, I'm just going to send him forwards again to the fence. And when he stands there comfortably and licks and thinks, he'll get release. Here, introduce the rein on the other side. So I'm going to close the rein against Cooper's shoulder. If he moves away, I'm going to keep rubbing him with the rope on his shoulder. If he stands still, he'll get release. But if he pulls back and makes the mistake of arguing with the halter, that's okay. He's allowed to make mistakes. The rope keep some resistance as it slides through. And I just ask him to step up forwards again to where I had him tied up. When he stands there quietly without pulling back, he'll get released. Side of your horse doesn't mean you can touch him with a rope on the other side. See the difference? <laughs> oh my god, I don't really want to deal with. I might rather deal with it like this. So here, 
I put him between a rope and a hard place and see how he got worried because he can't actually go anywhere. He's worried he can't go forwards, he can't go back. He can go sideways, but when he does, I'm going to go, well, why did you go sideways? I didn't say go sideways. session long enough that they start thinking yeah because otherwise they've just ex they've just put up with it they haven't learnt the yeah. process so i didn't quit on the last one because he was quite locked up still so that's, so that's it now. yeah like see how he's resting a foot his ears are forward he's happy to move but he feels the pressure in the halter and stops rather than feels the pressure and panic I am so lucky to have a horse like this who tests me enough to keep me engaged and helps me hopefully as much as I can help him. Mwah.